My name is Amber Griffiths and I'm a director of Foam Kerno Studio um, where we do all sorts of projects linking arts and sciences and education. So we have quite a few games around citizen science, so creating kind of interfaces where people who don't have professional training in science can contribute to scientific research. Um, and we also have a few education projects, right from six-year-olds up to postgraduates, um, teaching all sorts of things from coding uh, to access to scientific um, research, all, all kinds of things around this area. So I used to work in universities for about the last 10 years. Um, I've been running a research group at the University of Exeter. Um, and I guess I gradually got more and more frustrated by the limitations of working in the university. Um, the bureaucracy that we're under and the metrics that we have to keep up to really limit the interesting sorts of work that you can do. Um, and also university research is fairly notoriously unaccessible to broader audiences. So through leaving there and going to work at FOAM, um, we're able to pursue some of these uh, sorts of projects more easily. Uh, well, lots and lots of reasons. Science is critically important to all sorts of aspects of people's lives. It feeds into decisions around healthcare, um, it tells us how we farm and how we fish, which affects the sorts of things that we eat. Um, even working out how we're going to adapt to the huge environmental pressures that we're facing with climate change, that's all about science. And any differences that we have in access to that sort of information uh, leads to inequalities in society. So I think we need to open everything up, really. Um, when you've had major problems in communication between science and, and broader society, like ClimateGate, for example, which happened in the UK, where um, university research around climate change was misinterpreted by the media and led to a huge amount of public distrust of science, the feedback from all the interrogations into that were that scientists need to open up their research, they need to be saying more openly what they're doing, they need to be making their data open, they need to be publishing openly and they need to be talking to people. Um, and these are the kinds of ways that we can make people trust science more and understand science better. Okay, so if people want to get involved in FOAM, uh, we have several studios around the world. Um, the main hub is in Brussels, we have studios in the Netherlands, in <laughs> Stockholm, um, and our one down in Cornwall. And if you want to get involved, just have a look at the website and get in touch. We, at, at pretty much every studio, I think we have residency positions. Um, at the Cornwall studio, we have an empty desk, which is for anyone to come and sit in and develop whatever projects they want to with us.